Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming with yours truly, I Octane. Gem Crush is live, guys. Gem Crush is live. I think most of you may have seen it already. You may have had a chance to play already. It's um, quite interesting, to say the least. Uh, there is a lot of information in your uh, news link. Please have a read of your news link. Uh, all of it is about Gem Crush. This part is quite important. Gem Crush battle skill update. So what they're saying is that these cards listed below, Apex Predator, Prime, Pursuers, these cards are affected by Gem Crush. It makes their battle skill a bit weaker. However, they've updated these um, cards battle skill, making them relatively the same, if not more powerful. So we're gonna speak a bit more about Gem Crush a bit later. But first, we're going to look at the new deck that we have for the Slay event that starts tomorrow. This Slay event is going to be interesting. Quite interesting. So let's have a look at the deck. It's a Chaotic Killer deck. The deck, the deck this week and the deck next week are both going to be... Well, I already know this one is Chaotic Killer. The next week one is also going to be a Chaotic Killer. It's a light commander event next week. So let's have a look at the first um, card, which is ultimate form, Intrepid Voyagers. And this will create four Earth Power Gem 5. Earth Power Gem 5s. Yes, guys, you heard it. Earth Power Gem 5s. We can go up to Earth Power Gem 20s, depending on the cards that you've got on your team. It will create an additional four Earth Power Gem 5s on the next turn as well when the surroundings are mapped. So, so mapped is a status that's um, applied by your Ultra Rare. So not really sure what mapped is all about. But I think what it does is basically give you probably that chevron because normally when we get uh, status you always get that chevron that um, green chevron at the side and that indicates that your status is active and that allows this card to create an additional four power gem on the next turn okay it has a nine gem charge rate and a two turn cooldown which is absolutely fabulous the passive Earth Shattering Whip increases self attack by 20% for every power gem skill used and it lasts for two turns. Absolutely good. So, for the first and the second turn, when you activate your battle skill, you can basically increase your, um, your self attack for this card. The battle skill looks quite weak, but Bear in mind that Gem Crush is a new mechanic that's introduced to the game, which crushes all your gems. It doesn't matter if it's gem or power gems, it crushes everything. It crushes gems into power gems. And if you fill the board with gems again, it crushes it again. However, what I've noticed is, depending on how much time you fill the board with gems just ordinary gems it only takes you to i think power gem fours not power gem fives that's a maximum if you just crush ordinary gems it will take you up to a line a row of power gem fours however depending on the types of power gems you've got on the board it can crush your power gems up to a level 20 power gem so I can't say at the moment if this card is powerful or if it's weak. All I know it's one that is designed for the new mechanics that's been introduced to the game. We'll all see what it can do tomorrow. However, it's got the 900% killer skill bonus, which is very useful. The master collection card is Eagle. Daring Fortune Hunter, if I've said that right, normally butcher the names anyway. It will create four Earth Power Gem 
fours plus one additional for every 100 plus every 100 chaotic killer intensity now the chaotic killer intensity is just about right 100 percent i think it should be the upper limit 100 anything above 100 chaotic killer intensity or any intensity for me i think it's too high so this is just about right it will also create the same amount on the next turn as well as long as the surroundings are mapped so we already um said that uh, mapped is a uh, status just like um grail or any other showtime whatever you call it it's just a status two turn cooldown as well nine gem charge rate it's got passive which whenever a power gem skill is triggered it will increase self attack by 15 percent for two turns so both your master collection card and your ultra rare increases their own attack one by 20 one by 15. your ultra rare is the card that gives you the status and as you can see there is a chevron beside the battle skill it maps the surrounding for two turns, increasing chaotic killer attack by 120% and pouring up certain skill. Not only as your master collection card and your ultimate form, I've got the ability to, power, to uh, increase their own attack. The ultra rare also increases the attack of the deck on top of that increase that you get from the ultra, from the ultimate form and the master collection card so it's quite quite a big um attack boost you've got there two turn cooldown again so the complete deck is a two turn cooldown deck which makes it a fabulous deck uh perplexing puzzle whenever a power gem skill is triggered it will heal for 400 percent of your recovery so it's a healer and it's um the one that increases also increases the attack of your deck because two of the cards increase their own attack. It doesn't produce power gems, but I think it's it's okay. It's not brilliant, it's okay. Any card that increases your attack and your damage is a good card to have. It's quite good, especially later on when you need a card to actually increase your attack that are your damage output. So it's not a bad card. So let's look at the support card and for that let's go inside here so your support card for this week this is not your support card this is your main card so the main card for this week uh kira the part finder will create four uh, power gem tools and create an additional four on the next turn as well when the surroundings are mapped so your ultra rare allows three out of your additional four cards to actually create more power gems when it gives the status so this one is okay it doesn't increase the amount the number of power gems created when in intensity is create is increased that would have been quite lovely to have there but it is what it is it's an okay main card not a bad main card could have been a bit better with the additional of um, increasing the amount of power gems based on intensity. Now, support card. The support card will create one earth power gem, one and six earth gems, which is okay for me. It could have just created eight gems like the one from last week, but this week it actually creates one power gem and six gems, which is not bad. It also heals when a power gem skill is triggered, it will heal for 200% of recovery. So it spawns one power gem, six gems, and heal for 200% of in, um, its recovery. So it's a nice um, support card. Not brilliant, but it's quite nice. What would have been a bit nicer if it actually increased the number of gems, not power gems, the number of gems based on intensity, so at some point this card would be able to fill the board with gems the gems would crush you'll get some more power gems apart from just the one which you create so it's not a bad support card could have been better but i'm not complaining we'll see what the deck can do tomorrow with the new mechanics 
So that's your deck in a nutshell. I've got 70 season coins. I need an additional 12, which I can pick up eight tomorrow from the event and um, an additional, okay, let me call it the ones that I've got here. So 71, 72, so I need 12. Now I need 12, because I need 84 to craft both the Ultra Rare and the Master Collection card. However, I'm thinking to hold off, not craft it, see what decks that I have can do. And if those decks that I've currently got in my collection can actually perform really well, then I will not craft deck because Gem Crush uh, has made a lot of the cards that we had, we have in our um, collection a bit more useful again. So let's take, for example, this deck. This deck is now useful once again. It's now valuable for GVG. This deck in GVG, if you've got the relics to pour it up, will actually fill the board with gems. They'll crush, create in a row of power gem ones. You activate your Yuan Swarm, which will actually, because when your gem crushes, it fills the battle skills of all your cards, which is good. So haste, is no longer really necessary on any of the cards because Gem Crush has made haste as long as it can fill the board with gems, something that all cards have got. So as long as it can fill the board with gems, it will crush all the gems, fill in all your battle skills, all your battle skills already on the first turn. You on Swami activate it, it will actually, it will actually slow the bosses or as we call delay the bosses by three turns. Once you've got your bosses um, delayed, you can then use this card, which is Macrane World Strider. It will give you a nuke damage. The nuke damage is not a big nuke damage, but it does increase based on intensity. Now these three cards are the ones, Guru Pacha set, that is gonna create all your gems. You won't get a full board of power gems, but you will keep getting gems after gems after gems, pouring up your Yorn Swarm basically increasing the turn delay on the bosses and then your intensity will just increase and then Macarine will become more powerful as your intensity increase taking out the bosses. So this deck is now valuable when it comes to GVG. For the last 18 months, 20 months, this deck was absolutely useless. Now it's actually useful once again in GVG. However, I'm thinking that Network is gonna actually do something when it comes to GVG because now GVG is actually out of whack. Decks that were absolutely rubbish in GVG are now very good in GVG. So one of the two things, either the bosses are going to have new skills, that's the defending wardens, new skills, or they're going to increase in health, making it very difficult for a deck like this to actually take them out. This deck is not too bad. I used it, it works quite well. However, it's not as powerful as say, um, Freedom Fighter. So Relentless Scholar has got basically the same skill as Hard Worn Gorilla and um, Freedom Fighters. However, it has been nerfed. So all the cards following Hard Worn Gorilla were nerfed, so this one it's a good card to have. It works in GVG, but it's not as powerful as hard one gorillas or um, freedom fighters. But as I said, I've used Gem Crush and it takes a bit of getting used to, but I actually like it. It seems quite interesting. Seems a nice mechanic to use. It makes a lot of the cards really useful. Again, these cards are once again useful. Soul, Re Soul Thrasher and um, Alex Rider on the Storm combined with these three cards. So I was using Ring Royalty to give it the um, killer skill in Legend Trials, Circuit Break Hilaria to basically increase the damage of this card. And this card done some 
crazy damage, crazy, crazy damage. When I filled the board with Alex, it was crushed. Fill it with Soul Thrasher, it crushed. Bonafide um, Brawlers and Ring Royalty added a bit more power gems to it, to the mix. Swap them and Bonafide Brawlers done some ridiculous damage. Trust me, Gem Crush is absolutely, it's absolutely changed legendary game of eras once again and i think it's changed it for the good it's changed it for good trust me you're gonna like it maybe you won't like it but i like it i love it i absolutely love it so going forward so tomorrow the deck that i will be choosing to start the event will be this one I'm going to be using Freedom Fighter as my main damage dealer. We all know what Freedom Fighter is capable of. The Jailers, very good utility card. I'm using um, Consecrated Visitors from the same deck as the Jailers. I'm using Unbreakable Sisterhood to get the killer skill. So Unbreakable Sisterhood is the only Slayer ultimate form with Chaotic Killer before the one that came out today. We've got Chaotic Killer on Earth, but we haven't got it. Yeah, we've got Chaotic Killer on the Earth Commander, and we've got it on Slayer. So we've got two Slayer that that's got Chaotic Killer. So the current one and Unbreakable Sisterhood. So if you haven't got Unbreakable Sisterhood and you need the Chaotic Killer, killer skill, you can go for the deck. Do you want to spend your gems? It's all based on what you need. If you need the killer skill, I would say go for it. Not to go and spend loads of money to get the deck, but if you've got the gems, you can go for it. If you've got the season kind, you can craft it. Having the killer skill is always really good. It's always really good to have all the killer skills because from time to time, you will need to go back for a past ultimate form like Unbreakable Sisterhood, or if you haven't got the past ultimate form like Unbreakable Sisterhood, you can go for the current one to make sure that you're completing your collection. Having all, I think it's 50 different uh, ultimate form with all the killer skills. Five killer skills, 50 different decks, uh, going over all the affinities and all the types. So I'll be running that one. And this is the Piesta Resistant, Defiant Duet. It will give you more power gems based on cards that can actually delay the boss. Every time a card that delays the boss is, boss is used, it will create more power gems. So it's not a bad deck. Will it do brilliant in the event? It's yet to be seen because Gem Crush has now changed the scope of the game. But that's the one that I'm planning to run tomorrow. I might come up with a different combination tomorrow during um, possible deck combination. Don't know as yet. I might go for the deck. Don't know as yet. Depends on how the event actually goes. Um, now here, we don't know how most of the decks are going to perform in the event. So I'm not going to really um, say much about the deck until I see what the deck can actually do in the event and what other decks are able to do in the event and then we can go from there within a few weeks we'll all have a good idea what gem crush is able to um is able to bring to the table in regards to all cards so then we'll be able to make a um informed decision on if a deck is good or if a deck is absolute rubbish but until then I'm gonna say this deck looks um, okay. We perform very well in the event. The killer skill is going to be 900% bonus for all your cards. So it's a utility card that you can add to your list. All right, guys. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow to do possible deck combination when it comes to the event. And Gem Crush will be um, in full swing. So until then, like, subscribe. Hope to see you tomorrow on the next video when we do possible deck combination. We should have lots of fun tomorrow with it. 
Peace and have a great day. Bye for now.